that is some seriously skilled work in the breakdown. Drills through the defence. That's counter-rooking at its very best. In simple terms, a rook is when two people, one from attack, one from defence, contest over the ball. It's vitally important in sevens rugby because it is a competition for the ball to either secure the ball if you're attacking or to steal it as a defensive team. The rook has really become a different entity, isolated from the line breaker tackle as a carry, but just as important. If you can get a foothold in the game through the breakdown, then you've got a very good chance of being successful. I think the rucks become so important in the modern game of sevens because uh, there can be so many turnovers had and it's such a great place to attack from. There's so many people in that little area, so it opens up opportunities elsewhere out wide if you can manipulate it there. There's penalties to be had, if you don't get the technique right. And I think it's an area of the game that a lot of teams are really targeted that they can attack from. Good contest at the breakdown. Quaker Smith rips it out and away he goes! To get it with the kick goals, I think that's probably the other area in the, in the game of sevens that you can make a turnover. So uh, whether it's uh, the ruck attack where you need to hang on to your ball, so you really need to be good at in your cleaning technique and make sure that you can hang on to the ball. And in defense, you need to be accurate in your decision whether to actually go for the ball and try to get the steal or to get out and get into the defensive line. I think it comes with experience when to know to actually get up and contest for the ball I and mean, when to, to, like we say, surrender and, um, and target the next ruck. It's all about their experience, not just intelligence, but I think their experience is also important. We know when to attack a ruck and when to back off, and especially on our own rucks, um, if we can secure a ball and have quick ball with the speed outside, I think there's a few teams that can stop us. I think the teams that have really advanced themselves and looked at where they need to improve most is probably Fiji, and I think that's probably a major reason why the one the last couple of series, I think they've been so smart about their decision making at ruck time. The way their first defender gets up and makes himself available and then the explosiveness at ruck time is probably the thing that really has stood out for mine. They've created so many turnovers in and around that ruck area has been brilliant. Rucking is very, very important. If you don't practice rucking and uh, then you can get better at sevens rugby. We tend it every day. And we tend it not only with seal, but we tend it to the tempo of the series. Barassi, Polo, or Buta, to us is either you clean or you leave the rack, or you go for the ball. There's a three decision that you have during a, a rack, and you gotta be decisive and choose one decision. You can be double minded on which decision you need to make. It's important because it's gotten us to where we are today, two series title and. Uh, and an Olympic medal. He's got immense strength. And he drives through. That's terrific work. Your sole job as a ball carrier is to win the collision. If you're running into the contact and getting past the game line, then your team have a chance of going forward. But it's only backed up by having teammates behind you that can support and secure the ball for it then to be put out back wide. And here's Big Danny Barrett. Barrett! The wrecking ball! I like hitting rucks, I like hitting things, but we have a little saying that it's, I believe that you believe in me. So when I do something that I know you believe that it's gonna work out, and I believe that you're gonna be there for me, there's no better place for that than the ruck. You have to have those two or three guys there to support you, to have that clean ball to come out, and I mean, it's paramount for us to win that ruck. The way we approach rucks is there is that brute physicality that you need to kind of get in and get someone out, but the other half of it is, is looking for a lever to get them off balance and be able to use your physical strength to lift someone and move them out of the way. The body position is big for us. We want to come in as low as possible, and if you come in high, then you're not going to have a chance in the world. But if you're coming in low and you're coming in hard, then that's really the best way to get them out. When I was playing, we used to call it a tabletop per se, whereas you have to have a back straight as a table, like you can see the dinner on it, you know, that was the thing, if you go too high, you're gonna get blown out. If you go too low, you're gonna lose your feet, and that's one area we uh, really try to aim at and um, be strong and, and, and keep that pose. The Rook is now all important in the game of sevens. It's 80% aggression, 20% technique, but if you win the breakdown, you've got a good chance of winning the game.